Before we start the calculations, let me point out that, again, this lab involves a fairly extensive set of calculations. And your lab manual has in it a list of needed calculations and tables on page 1715. And pages 1716 and 1717 provide useful guidance for the individual steps. And you will want to refer to these in the various parts of your calculations. Let's look first at the calculations for part one. What you have at this point is a set of percent transmittance data versus concentration of iodine. So you'll want to convert percent transmittance to absorbance, as you did in the previous lab on food dyes. Calculate the iodine concentration based on dilution, as you did in the other kinetics lab. And then you want to plot the absorbance versus the iodine concentration. And here we have, in fact, a typical graph showing absorbance versus the iodine concentration. And our points are marked out on the graph. If you have a French curve or a spline, you might want to attempt to draw, draw a curve through all the points. What I have is a ruler. And I'm simply going to draw a straight line through the points at the lower end of the curve as best I can. At higher concentrations, this does tail off to some extent. And if it does, fine. And once we have our calibration curve, we have finished what we need to do for the first part of the experiment.